Welcome to a brief overview of the 2012 IABC Handbook contents and its relevance and importance to effective application of the 2012 IBC. Authored by two ICC code experts, Doug Thornburg, AIA, and John Henry, PE, this publication has benefited from many decades of experience by the current authors as well as other authors and contributors such as Vincent R. Bush, John F. Behrens, S.K. Ghosh, Robert Chittenden, Alan Carr, and Sandra Hyde. The 2012 IABC Handbook examines the application of code provisions for both fire and life safety and structural aspects of the building code in one book. It addresses in detail the intent and provides solutions, examples, and key points in each chapter. There are more than 600 color figures, photos, tables, and other illustrations to help visualize the correct application. The readers will also have access to free online resource that covers important information such as articles on changes to the latest structural material standards, ICC acoustics and commissioning guidelines, resources related to accessible means of egress and fire protection and much more. Chapters 1 through 4 focus on administration, definitions, occupancy classifications, and special occupancy requirements such as high-rise, atriums, institutional occupancies, hazardous materials, live-work units, and care facilities. Chapters 5 through 9 cover allowable height and areas, construction types, fire and smoke protection, interior finish, and fire protection systems. Calculations of maximum allowable height and area for multi-story buildings including frontage and sprinkler increases is included in Chapter 5, as well as in-depth discussion of mixed occupancy buildings, separated and non-separated occupancies, and incidental uses. Coverage of fire protection systems include fire area determination, automatic fire sprinklers, standpipes, fire alarm and detection systems, smoke control systems, and smoke and heat vents. Chapters 10 and 11 give extensive and detailed coverage and discussion of the means of egress and accessibility for the disabled. Topics such as required number of exits, correct sizing of means of egress, accessible means of egress, stairways, handrails, common path of egress, assembly seating design, and many other important topics are discussed in detail with examples and solutions. Chapters 12, 13, 14, 15, and 24 through 33 address other non-structural provisions of the code, and chapter 34 addresses existing buildings. The discussion of structural provisions in this handbook is intended to help code users understand and properly apply the requirements in Chapters 16 through 23 of the 2012 IBC. Although the discussion is useful to a broad range of individuals, the discussion of the structural provisions was written primarily so that building officials, plan reviewers, architects, and engineers can get a general understanding of the IBC's structural requirements and gain some insight into their underlying basis and intent. To that end, the numerous figures, tables, and examples are intended to illustrate and help clarify the proper application of many structural provisions of the IBC. The discussion in Chapter 16 covers structural load provisions and design criteria based on requirements in the code, as well as the primary reference national load standard, ASCE 710. Design criteria and requirements pertaining to dead and live loads in Chapter 16, as well as environmental loads such as seismic, wind, and snow loads based on ASCE 710 are discussed. Topics such as live loads, dead loads, tributary and influence areas, alternate span loading, live load reduction, wind loads based on alternate all heights method, and seismic design categories for both standard and alternate methods are covered. In addition to loads, the structural provisions also include discussion of the special inspection, structural observation, and structural testing requirements in Chapter 17. The structural provisions include discussion of requirements for geotechnical investigations and reports, soils, and design requirements for foundation systems in Chapter 18. 
code requirements and reference standards for structural materials such as concrete, aluminum, masonry, steel, and wood are discussed in chapters 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. This important resource, the 2012 IBC Handbook, is a must-have for all professionals involved in architectural and structural design, plan review, construction, and inspection of buildings. The information needed to order the 2012 IBC Handbook from ICC is shown on your screen. Thank you for your interest.